The converter thefts ends in gunfire in Redondo Beach and a man run over in Linwood. Kickle News Summit editor Mike Rogers is at the desk tonight. So Mike, was anyone seriously injured? Uh, Jeff, luckily no, but two very serious incidents of these catalytic converter thefts, which the Sheriff's Department tells me are up. Now I want to take you to video from the most recent one. This was in Linwood this afternoon. We sent SkyCal to check it out. Now what we learned is that uh, a group of thieves were trying to steal a catalytic converter off a car and a man, uh, a father there, interrupted their theft. And when they did, when he did that, the suspect Suspects allegedly sideswiped him uh, with their car. Now, the man did sustain some injuries, uh, reported some trouble breathing. LA County Fire came and looked at him, uh, and he did not go to the hospital. But the sheriff's department says he was, those suspects were able to get away with that catalytic converter. This morning, a very scary situation over in Redondo Beach. We have video from that to show you uh, where there was actually gunfire in this one. Same type of situation where they were trying to, the suspects were trying to steal a catalytic converter from a car. They ended up shooting out the back window of this car here. One person sustained minor injuries. Those suspects took off. Redondo Beach tried to chase them. They were in a brief pursuit with these guys. Ultimately, though, they got away. Now, as we come back out here to the desk, I did talk to the Sheriff's Department about uh, the issue with this. They say they are going up. They're really encouraging uh, car owners to etch your VIN number or have a, a, somebody do that for you. A mechanic, they sometimes offer these free events where you can etch your VIN number into the catalytic converter. That way, if they find it later down the road, they can actually charge those people with that crime because right now uh, it's partly the hard part to do here is actually catch these guys and then charge them with that. So they say if you have your VIN number on it, they can prove that that catalytic converter doesn't belong to them, Jeff.